Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7. Alright, we are in pause, and, uh... We're, uh... We've got a couple little, uh, um... Uh, plots to, uh... Take care of. There's a, a thief in town, which is totally not me! Totally not me! Totally not me! <laughs> um... So yes, there is a thief in town, and uh, we also have uh, Thurston here. Greetings, my lady, says Thurston. Um, uh, you know, uh, let me tell you what uh, Polly said about you. You relate to Thurston what Polly had said about him. He looks at you with joyous surprise. Did Polly really say these things? It is ridiculous that she believes I am too good for her. Suddenly he forgets his work and starts hurrying around in excitement. For years I have loved this woman from afar. I will begin courting her immediately. Ah. I've done some good. Good day to thee, milady. I didn't actually get any experience for that, but, uh, you know what? Who cares? We made some people's lives happier. Isn't that really all that matters? There's a lot of, uh, um, flour there. Ooh. Flaming oil and a torch, which I don't really need. Um. Dried meat. That is locked. Let's, uh,. See if we can unlock that. There we go. It's empty. Jeez. Fine. Be that way. I'm going to take your pie. I think that's what that was. Totally did not actually want to uh, talk to you, Viola. Didn't want that either. Yep. That's pie. Mmm, pie. How are you doing on weight? You are pretty, uh, pretty... Overloaded. Close to overloaded. Alright, we've already talked to the beggars. Gave them some, uh, uh, petty cash. It's always nice. Um, I guess we'll leave the food for now. Let's open all the doors. Do we have anything in here? No, not really. A kidney belt! Kidney belts are terrible. Alright, when you come back in... Stop moving, stop moving. Stop moving. Thank you. You see a cheerful, handsome young man who gives you a friendly wave as you approach. Oh, what's your name? My name is Andrew. How art thou, milady? Um, I, I don't have an opportunity to say I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Job. I'm the owner and proprietor of the dairy here in Paws. Oh, why can't you tell me about the dairy? Yes, I sell milk and cheese. Thou mayest find the dairy between Camille's farm and the slaughterhouse. Uh, do you know anything about the thief in town? Be wary, for there is a thief in this town. It's totally not me. Not me. Some silver serpent venom was stolen from Morphin. Not me. I swear not me. This happened before I stole s some venom from him. Uh, what can you tell me about Paws? Of course, everyone is up in arms about this business concerning the missing venom. Indeed. Tell me about Camille. Camille is a good woman. She is still an advocate of the old virtues. She runs the farm by herself. Well, with the help of her son Tobias. Uh, what can you tell me about the slaughterhouse? The slaughterhouse is run by Morphin, the merchant. He is always busy coming and going at all hours, sometimes carrying things. <laughs> totally not a black marketeer. Oh, milk. A gallon will cost thee three gold. Art thou interested in buying some? N no, actually I'm not. Perhaps next time, lady. Oh, what about cheese? I sell wedges for two gold each. Still interested? N no. I understand, milady. Perhaps when, when thou dost become more hungry. Yeah, maybe. What can you tell me about the venom? It could be hum hidden anywhere. With all the trade that occurs in this town, it would be easy to hide. I do not know much el else about the substance. Perhaps Morphin himself would know what kinds of effects it might produce. Um, yeah, I should probably go uh, talk to him a bit. Uh, what can you tell me about Morphin himself? He bought the slaughterhouse a few years ago, soon after he joined the Fellowship. I knew the previous owner. Um, what can you tell me about the previous owner? I was just a lad when I first saw the old slaughterhouse. The old man who owned it even showed me the storeroom in there once. The door to it is locked. I think Morphin has the key somewhere in his house. How do you know that? I mean, other than that just being a guess. Seriously. Uh, what can you tell me about Tobias? A rather defensive young lad. I cannot say... That I know much about him. Alright, I think we're done with you now. 
I hope I have been of some assistance to the late. Hey, why are you leaving? I'm done talking to you, that's why. Oh, God. You see a small man with twisted sloped posture. He looks you up and down before deciding he will speak to you. You sound like a prick, then. I had gotten word that thou wert expected in coming to our town. I have been expecting thee. I must admit, though, that I find it difficult to believe that thou art truly the Avatar. Oh, I'm the Avatar, all right. What's your name? My name is Faradwin. Huh. What's your job? I run the Fellowship Shelter with my wife Britta and my son Garrett here in Paws. Tell me about the Fellowship. Wouldst thou like to join? No. Ah, thou dost not yet comprehend how much thy life could be improved through the guidance of the Fellowship. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm the Avatar of the Eight Virtues. I'm good. I'm good, really. Uh, what can you tell me about the Shelter? This is the only place in all of Britannia designed for the aid and care of the poor, but of course only if they join the Fellowship, and then tithe some of their uh, uh, beggings to us. It is hard work, but then one strives to be worthy of that which we wish to receive. Um, why don't I have an opportunity to ask him why he won't take in the guys who won't join? Uh, tell me about Brita. A wonderful woman! Thou shouldst meet her! Uh, what can you tell me about your son Garrett? Thankfully, we have been able to raise our son properly by emphasizing the teachings of the Fellowship. Garrett shall not be trapped in the poverty of his surroundings. He shall be intellectually, spiritually, and morally superior. Really? He's talented, too! Yeah, right. Uh, okay, why is he talented? He plays the whistle pan pipes extremely well for a lad his age. Brita and I are very proud. He could probably attend the music hall in Britain when he is older. Excuse me for a second. Notebook out. Make sure to warn them about Garrett. T done. Oh, uh, what were you saying? Um, tell me about Paws. As this is a small town with few privileges and little privacy, our family has come to know everyone in Paws quite well. Is there anyone thou dost wish to hear about? I am well acquainted with these people. Um, tell me about the merchants. They would be Morphin, Andrew, Thurston, and Beverly. Um, what can you tell me about the farmers? That would be Camille and her son Tobias. What about the beggars? What about the shelter residents? Our residents include Alina and, our chi and her child, and Merrick. And what about the beggars? Oh, them. Comor and Fen. Ferdwin rolls his eyes. Uh, tell me about Morphin. Morphin is a clever and industrious member of the Fellowship. He runs the local slaughterhouse and is also a snake venom merchant. I almost read that as snake oil salesman. Tell me about Andrew. Andrew is such a happy young man. He doth not notice the myriad of personal problems that he is afflicted with. Man, talk about douchey. Uh, tell me about Thurston. Thurston owns the mill. He could do better if he ran his business with more of an eye toward profit. Yeah, but maybe he just wants to be nice. Uh, just, just saying. Uh, what can you tell me about Beverly? She is the, a nearly blind elderly woman who runs the antique shop on the east ed side of the river. And Camille? She's a sad woman, a widow, who is living in the past. Tis a pity, really. really? Fortunately, her husband left her the farm, which does happen to turn a profit. Uh, what about Tobias? A local rascal. I normally would not allow Garrett to associate with such a troublemaker. But the Fellowship has taught me to be a tolerant parent. Besides, associating with my son might do the lad some good. Who knows? You really don't sound that tolerant. And what about Alina? Her husband is currently in Britain somewhere. I do not know the details. She has a small child. And Merrick? A splendid example of the fellowship turning someone's life around. Presently he resides in our shelter. It doesn't sound like he's actually doing any better for himself. Uh, tell me about Kamor. Kamor is the most hateful man I have ever met. He's a bundle of bitterness. He wasn't a bundle of bitterness when I talked to him. No, oh, it was directed at you, but not at anyone else, really. Well, and Merrick. In all the time I have known him, Komor has never spoken a word to me that was not at best a thinly veiled insult. Well, let's be let's be honest here. You do deserve it. Uh, what can you tell me about Fen? Fen is a beggar who refuses all aid from the Fellowship. A pathetic case. Really? 
Have you given this uh, aid freely? Have you offered it freely with no strings attached? Somehow I doubt it. Not even his former friend Merrick can reach him anymore. And what can you tell me about snake venom? Morphin, the local merchant informs me that a quantity of silver serpent venom was stolen from him. The thief is still at large, so be wary. Of course, I do not know why anyone would want the vile substance. It is surely not good for one's health. Yeah, goodbye. Mayest thou walk with the fellowship? No, uh, I'd rather walk through the valley of shadow death. Uh, we've got uh, documents, which you can't actually click on. Quill, sealing wax, seal. Keep Britannia clean. Send the gargoyles back. See, look, tolerant. Talking about tolerant, and you have keep Britannia clean. Send the gargoyles back. What a douche. Book of the Fe Yeah, of course. Of course, that would be the only book around. Clearly shows that this is a terrible place. Oh, oh, Iola, what are you doing stealing money from the poor? Oh, that's terrible. Ooh, an egg. Hmm, a diaper. Oh, Spark, why are you taking the diaper? You see a nervous man who constantly blinks. He sees you and looks like he is in a snit. Who art thou? I am the Avatar. Thou art a most pathetic little worm. Really, all this Avatar nonsense is nothing more than a sad plea for attention. Don't make me... I am going to kill you one of these days. Oh, Avatar, it is thee! Apologize. I do most humbly apologize to the Avatar. As I am certain thou art aware, there have been many who have claimed to be the one and only true Avatar ever since thou hast last visited us. Yeah. It still doesn't excuse you being a jerk. Uh, what's your name? I am Merrick. Yeah, figures. Uh, job? I used to be a farmer here in Paws. Now I suppose I work for the Fellowship. I live in their shelter. It's not exactly a job. What do you know about the thief? I have heard that some of Morphin's venom has been stolen. I cannot imagine who would do it unless it was that brat that lives with the farmer widow. What was that about uh, tolerance that the Fellowship is supposed to uh, teach? What can you tell me about f being a farmer? I was a farmer. Of course, that was before the seven-year drought. Comor, Fen, and myself were reduced to paupers. Paupers? For years, Comor, Fen, and I lived off the rubbish of others, sleeping by the side of the road. Then I found the fellowship, and my life has changed for the better. I have tried to share my newfound fortune with my friends, but I fear they hate me for being more resourceful than they. Yeah, more like being more... Yeah, never mind. Let's not go that way. Uh, what can you tell me about pause? I have lived here in pause all my life. I will not leave it now. I shall never leave. <laughs> oh, you will leave. Trust me. Maybe not the way you think you would. Uh, you... you... Yeah, you will leave. You will leave this plane of existence. Uh, what can you tell me about the Fellowship? The Fellowship is a society of the spiritual seekers who strive to reach the highest levels of human potential and to share this philosophy freely with all people. The Fellowship was formed 20 years ago by Batlin with the full approval and support of Lord British. Yeah, I'm going to have to talk to his, uh, British about that. Uh, what's this about a brat? I believe his name is Tobias. And the Widow? I believe her name is Camille. Shouldn't you, like, know more than just believe that their names are that? I mean, it's not exactly a big town. You can tell me about Camor. He once owned one of the largest farms in all of Britannia. He was born to wealthy parents. After he lost his farm, he took to sleeping along the road. One night, a gang of bullies wanted to steal his gold. He had none, so they beat him until he was lame. He's a very bitter man. Tragic. And Fen? Fen was a farmer, farm laborer and one of Comor's most trusted friends. With the farm gone, Fen just did not have any place to go or any way to live. And philosophy. Yeah, okay, this is, gonna, this is the exact same text. That's right. Dost I want to join? No. Oh, well, perhaps thou canst become enlightened another time. Yeah, I don't think so. Good day, Avatar. You see a simple peasant woman. Her face is etched with sorrow. Uh, what's your name? I am Alina. 
And what's your job? I have none, my lady, save for being the mother of my child. I am waiting for my husband, Weston, to return from Britain. Um, don't tell me about your child. Cassie is my daughter, just a wee babe. She is mine only joy. Uh, what about your husband? Well, he's gone. Okay, I guess that counts. Uh, what about Weston? My husband is imprisoned in Britain for stealing fruit from the royal orchards. Stealing? My husband is no thief, my lady. He went there to buy the buy fruit for the child and me so that we would have enough to eat. He has been wrongfully accused. I am certain of it. You don't have enough to eat? We are very poor. My baby and I are presently living in the fellowship shelter because we have nowhere else to go. I wonder why the uh, um, they're letting her live here but not the uh, um, two beggars. Uh, what can you tell me about the fellowship? It was a member of the fellowship that had has accused mine husband. Now they wish for me to join them. Join them? I cannot join the fellowship without feeling that I am betraying mine husband. Good woman. Good woman. How could I become one of those that, who have falsely accused him? Yet, if I do not, they will not allow my husband, my child, and me to live here. Man. Sure said... Sure are dicks. Hold on, I need some water. Ah, mm. So much text to read. She sobs and covers her face with her hands. It is so unfair. I must choose between starvation and betrayal. If only Weston were here. I do not know what, I w what to do. Well, I think we'll have to see about that when we get to uh, Britain. Uh, what can you tell me about this shelter? There are we are fortunate that we are able to live at the f by the Fellowship's good graces, but I do not know how long we will be allowed to stay. Uh, what can you tell me about the accused? They say if I join they will attempt to free mine husband, but it was they who unjustly accused him. I cannot trust them, but I fear I may have no choice. Yeah, that does sound pretty crappy. Um, Fellowship gets your husband in prison, then uh, uses that as leverage to get you to join? That's pretty bad. Allowed? They tell me the shelter is only for members of the fellowship. Unless I join soon, I shall be asked to leave. And I have nowhere else to go. All right, well, we'll see what we can do about that. Pleasant day to, th day to thee, milady. I mean, look at all these beds. There aren't exactly a lot of people in them. Baby and cradle. Aww, that's so cute. Rock the cradle. But not rock the casbah. Oh, I Iola, what are you doing? You're stealing from the poor. Oh, you're, this is terrible. Look at that shimmery dress. You'd think that would be uh, worth something. Oh, oh, I, I am, I am, I, I don't know if I can l live with you, Iolo. This is, this is horrible. What are you doing? Huh? That's a locked chest. I'll have to figure something out about that. Thou dost wish to speak with me again, Avatar? No, actually, I didn't want to talk to you. I wanted to talk to her. I don't know why I clicked on you. A stern-looking woman stares back at you without humor. Uh, name? I am Brita. Job? I help mine husband, Faridwin, run the Fellowship's shelter and pause. Um, why can you tell me about the town? We hear about everything that goes on in pause. If I do not know about it, then mine husband does. Is there anyone in particular thou dost wish to know about? Yes. I know about these people. Ah, good. Uh, do you know anything about the thief? One of our members, a local merchant named Morphin, had a shipment of silver serpent venom stolen from him. Not that I care about the venom itself, but is it not shocking? Uh, yeah, it is pretty shocking. Uh, what can you tell me about your husband? My husband is the most honorable man I have ever met in my life. Excuse me? Oh, well, that's right. I'm not a man, so that's... I'll let that slide. But sir, wait. Dupre. Have you... Oh, well, okay, I guess you just haven't met Dupre. Thurston. You've met Thurston. He's certainly honorable. Certainly more honorable than this... sack of crap there. <clears throat> um, Do not put stock in the proud boasts of wives. Good Avatar, I am a simple man who does... who only does what he can. Uh, but she is right. I am, I am quite honorable. Very, very, very honorable. Extremely honorable. But I'm I'm modest. I, I I don't just yeah I'm I'm modest. Um, what can you tell me about the fellowship? Thou should speak to mine husband of the fellowship. I am certain thou wilt be most impressed by what he shall have to tell thee. No, actually I wasn't really. What can you tell me about the shelter? 
Running the shelter is hard work for my husband and me, but it is worth the effort to ease the suffering of those less fortunate than we. Unless, of course, they uh, won't re won't join us. Then they can just go die for all I care. Uh, what can you tell me about the serpent venom? I have never seen any myself. I have no idea what it does to someone, but it cannot possibly be good. Uh, what can you tell me about Alina? Alina lives in the shelter with her baby poor thing her husband is a common thief who even now sits in prison but we shall help her get her life straightened out once we persuade her to join the fellowship she is not smart enough though thou knowest to see the advantages for herself she must be carefully instructed wow arrogant much uh, what are you talking about camille camille is a farm widow she tends to live in the past following the old virtues and questioning the ways of the fellowship these country folk are so superstitious, thou knowest. It is a fault of their low intellect. She does not even notice what a hooligan her boy Tobias is growing up to be. Not at all like our son Garrett. Yeah. You're gonna die. Um, what can you tell me about Polly? Polly runs the local tavern to be near people. She is a lonely soul who, and feels that there is simply no one who wishes for her heart. It makes me so sad to think of her. She could find all the companionship she could want if she would join the Fellowship. Yeah, but it's pretty crappy companionship. You know, I mean, really, uh, being alone is far better. What can you tell me about Tobias? A simply wretched little urchin, always sulking. But then, one must realize that he has no father to discipline him properly. Take a good hard smack to his a rear every so, you know, hour or so. That's how you truly raise a child. What can you tell me about Garrett? Brita br beams. Garrett is a wonderful son. He's been raised to follow the values of the fellowship. His worthiness has been rewarded. How has it been rewarded? Garrett is so talented at the whistle panpipes. It is truly a gift. Yeah. Um, mayst thou walk with the fellowship, Avatar? No, thank you. I'd, I'd rather walk through poo. Hey, kid. Tag, thou art it. Gargoyle boy. Thou cannot catch me. I, you're right, I can't catch you. There we go. No. Cut, 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 cut. There we go. You see a jovial young man who gives you a friendly greeting. Name? I am Garrett, the son of Faridwin and Brita. No, that's Merrick's voice. What's your job? I am too young to learn a trade of my own yet, but I do assist my parents in running the shelter. I hope to be a counselor in the fellowship one day, or a professional whistle panpipes player. Yeah, no, give up on that, that dream, kid. Uh, what can you tell me about your dad? My father works for the Fellowship, helping the poor people in Paws. He tries to recruit them, but most refuse. Um, poor people? My father says that the poor people reject the Fellowship because the triad of inner strength requires strength of character. Uh, tell me about this strength of character. My father f says the poor are weak of character, and that is why they are poor. They do not have to be... They are just too lazy to work. You do understand that there needs to be jobs for them to work? You don't get that, do you? Yeah, okay. I know people like you. Dost thou agree? Nope. Then thou must be a person of weak character also. Yeah. You're gonna die one of these days too, you little kid. What can you tell me about your mother? Oh, she is just my mother. She does whatever my father doth tell her to do. I keep falling into Merrick's voice here. That's suitable. Both hateful little people. Uh, what can you tell me about the shelter? Plenty of beds are available if thou wouldst like to stay in the shelter, he says with a condescending tone. I suppose I would have, should have read that part first. Oh, well. Uh, what can you tell me about the Fellowship? Oh, I can tell thee all that dost need to know about us. The Fellowship is a society of spiritual secrets who strive to reach the highest levels of human potential and to share this philosophy freely with all people. Fellowship was formed 20 years ago by Batlin with the full approval. We've read this from other people. What did you tell me about your panpipes? I haven't played panpipes since I was little. I'm pretty good now if I say so myself. You really shouldn't. Don't. I keep the whistle by my bed and practice every night before going to sleep. I bet you annoy everyone else in the uh, um, shelter. What can you tell me about the town? Actually, I do not like this town very much. The people here are all poor. The only one my own age is Tobias. And, he adds, there's a thief here. Yeah. Yeah, a thief, huh? Tell me about the thief. There's a thief in this town. Our merchant Morphin had some 
valuable silver serpent venom stolen from them. The culprit is still free. So be wary. Um, let's talk about recruits. My father was once the head recruiter in Britain until they moved him here. I once heard him talking to Mother about how the Fellowship was wasting its time here. Um, shouldn't the Fellowship feel that it's never a waste of time? What can you tell me about Tobias? He and his mother reject the Fellowship. They are witless and stupid, and I do not like them. Yeah, I don't like you. Goodbye, then. Chicken. I could, eat, I could have some lovely chicken. Would you stop? Would you just leave me alone, little kid? Jeez. Get the hell away from me. Should be another kid around here somewhere. And the woman... Ah, there we go. You see a sulking lad who doesn't seem to want to look you in the eye. <sighs> Just what I need. Another avatar, he mumbles under his breath. Um, I'm, I'm really the avatar, though. Uh, what's your name? I am Tobias. I suppose I am to believe thou art someone important. Uh, yeah, actually, kind of. Just just a tad. Uh, what's your job? I'm too young to have a job. I just help my mother on the farm. Uh, tell me about your mother. Her name is Camille. She speaks of the... Or rather, she speaks of the Avatar, is what I meant to say. I, I am the Avatar. Some people in town think she is mad because she still believes in the Eight Virtues. Uh, what do you feel about that? My mother once took me to the Shrine of Sacrifice when I was younger. That was soon after my father died, so I do not remember it very well. I do not think it is there anymore, for she never talks about going back. I think that perhaps she does not want to mention it because, because there are so many in town who belong to the Fellowship. And because it makes her sad. Um, well, let's uh, change the subjects. What can you tell me about the thief? There's a thief running free in paws. He stole silver serpent venom from Morphin, owner of the slaughterhouse. No one knows who he is. Well, it could be a she. Let's, let's be uh, uh, fair here. Uh, what can you tell me about your farm? My mother grows grain. Dost thou not know a farm when thou dost see one? Tobias looks at you as if you he thinks you were a bit dim. I was asking for more information about the farm, not whether this was a farm. <sighs> then again, we are just saying one word. Avatar! Art thou truly the Avatar? Yes. Thou art no Avatar! Tobias frowns. I really am, kid. Uh, what can you tell me about the Fellowship? For the first time, he looks you in the eye. I hate the Fellowship! The only other person in town my own age is that Critton Garrett, and it is all he ever talks about. He is always trying to convince my mother to join. He clenches his fists, his fist angrily. Please do not mention them again. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about grain? She sells grain to thirst in the miller from time to time so that we may go to the pub and buy milk at the dairy every once in a while. Excuse me. But we usually just grow crops to keep ourselves fed. And what can you tell me about the shelter? It's a place to, just south of here. It's run by the Fellowship. Tell me about Garrett. He, <clears throat> he is the only other boy in town anywhere near mine age. His parents do not want him playing with me because they think that associating with those kind of people will hamper his education or some such rubbish. I cannot stand the little bastard. Hey, <laughs> I like this kid. And I hate the way he plays those stinking whistle panpipes. Um, tell me about Thurston. He is one of the few people in town that I like. He is nice to us. Uh, tell me about the dairy. The dairy is south of the shelter. Andrew, the man who runs the dairy, his father was friends with my father. Uh, why did you, are they trying to get your mother to join? Those bloody fellowship people know that everyone is never more than a meal away from being penniless. They say that they want us to join immediately because the shelter is intended to help only fellowship members. If we ever need to live there, they may have to turn us away in favor of other fellowship members. Fellowship? Ah, uh, it's the same thing. Alright, I think we're done talking to you for now. Be on the way, then, O oh great and wise Avatar. I'll educate you, don't worry. You see a farm woman. She rubs her hands, which are covered with dirt and lines drawn by toil. My dreams have become reality. Thou art the Avatar, art thou not? I recognize thee immediately. I am indeed. What's your name? My name is Camille Avatar. It is an honor to meet thee. Uh... It's an honor to meet you, too, I guess. 
What's your job? I run a small farm here and pause with my son, Tobias. I am a widow. Uh, tell me about the thief in town. Some silver serpent venom was stolen from the merchant Morphin who operates the slaughterhouse. And tell me about the town. Life is hard here in, ta in Paws. It is a town of poor people with all the ills that poverty brings. At least the fellowship brings us some relief. Uh, I'm not going to regret this. Well, tell me about the fellowship. I'm not sure whether I trust the fellowship. It has undoubtedly done some good things in this world, so I, it cannot be all bad. Or at least the people in it cannot be all bad. Um, ills? Recently our town has been plagued by a thief. Yeah, we read that. All right. Tell me about your son. He is basically a good boy. He works hard and misses his father. And tell me about the farm. I grow a few crops, especially carrots and wheat. Carrots? I believe my carrots are especially tasty. Wouldst thou like to purchase some? They would only cost thee one gold for three. Um, no, I'm good. If that is thy wish, Avatar. But they are quite good. Yeah, that's fair, but I I don't need any. Um, I'm not going to ask her about wheat because she'll try to sell me some. Uh, I think we'll uh, say goodbye for now. All right. Let's get caught on a crop, of course. That's not the doorway there. All right. Garrett, get out of their house. That's just rude. Let's go back and talk to Morphin, see if he's noticed anything about any of the uh, residents of the village. All right, Morphin. What, what's the deal? Uh, ledger. You tell Morphin that you have seen his ledger. Wait, my lady. I admit I do sell silver serpent venom to other places besides the apothecary. What I am doing is not precisely against the law. Sell? My supply comes from some old friends in Buccaneer's Den. Where they get it, who can say? Law? I have a notarized contract with the Britannian Mining Company. They use it to keep their gargoyles working longer hours. It seems gargoyles have greater resistance to the effects of silver serpent venom. Poor devils. He grins maliciously at his own joke. <laughs> effects? They are widely known. Silver serpent venom is a reagent that, when ingested in small doses, temporarily enhances one's physical strength, stamina, and quickness, along with bringing a feeling of euphoria. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. That's the same thing. User? All right, I might need to wait longer, so let me actually check. Um, nope, all right, uh, I'll have to do this later then. Uh, probably need to wait a day or something like that, so... Um, I guess we're done here for now. Well, let's head north. If you take a quick look at our map, see exactly where we are. Just south of Britain. Britain is pretty big there. This is a uh, pause here. That's uh, Trinsic. I like the, the I, I, I'm kind of amused that the individual buildings show up on the map. Hey! Got some music. Dried meat. And leeks! Ooh, more food. I don't really need any food right now. Are we there yet? Shut up, Spark. That's locked. Hey, we could get another abacus if we needed. Alright, I'm probably gonna um, talk to people in the next episode. So, uh, let's first uh, um, head north a ways. We'll uh, deal with talking to people in town then. And then, all of a sudden, the music stops. The old relics are here! It sure is big. Eh, I'll come visit there later. Thanks for telling me that my old relics are there, uh, though, Iolo. Yeah, <laughs> cannon. <laughs> oh, we will have fun with that one of these days. Oh, yes, we will. So, Lord British, there he is in all his splendor. 
I think we will talk to him in the next episode. See you then, everyone.